हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस ऑफ थर्ड सेम मैथमेटिक्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर किरण पोदार अंगड़ी इंस्ट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड मैनेजमेंट बेलगामी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ फिफ्थ मॉडल ऑफ एटीन मैट थ्री वन दैट इज थर्ड सेमिस्टर मैथमेटिक्स इन द फिफ्थ मॉडल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ न्यूमरिकल टेक्निक टू न्यूमरिकल मैथड्स टू ऑलरेडी इन अ प्रीवियस मैथड वी डिस्कस्ड न्यूमरिकल मैथड्स where we discussed taylor series expansion euler for modified formula runge kutta method milnes method and adam bash fourth method in this session we need to discuss rk method once again but for different situation different situation in the sense we are going to apply rk method for second order ordinary differential equations means finding a numerical solution of second order ordinary differential equation where the second order ordinary differential equation will be given but rk method is applicable on first order so second order ordinary differential equation has to be split into two parts of simultaneous equations of first order how it is possible let us discuss the given second order ordinary differential equation with two initial conditions which will be reduced to first order simultaneous equations means one second order differential equation with its initial condition which is given that has to be split into two set two set of first order simultaneous differential equations how it is possible let y double dash is equal to g of x y y dash means what the second order ordinary differential equation which will be treated as a function g which will be having x here x is a variable y y is a basic function and y dash y dash is a first order derivative means the second order differential equation which will be having a variable function and first order derivative with the given conditions initial conditions which are known as y of x not is equal to y not and y dash of x not is equal to y not dash means functional value is given derivative value of y is also given with respect to initial value of x means y not y dash not and x not is given then what to do how to convert this second order ordinary differential equation into set of simultaneous equations very first substitute y dash means y dash which is nothing but dy by dx put dy by dx is equal to z fix put dy by dx is equal to z then what happens if we differentiate this substitution once again then it will be will be second order differential equation that is y double dash differentiation of dy by dx with respect to x will be d square y by dx square which is equal to differentiation of the z with respect to x is dz by dx means y dash dy by dx is equal to z and d square y by dx square is equal to dz by dx so second order ordinary differential equation will be converted into two sets of simultaneous differential equations of first order we can see dy by dx first order dz by dx first order so what we can conclude here we can say that the second order ordinary differential equation is is been converted into two first order simultaneous equations one is dy by dx is equal to z and other one is dz by dx is equal to y double dash but but how, how it will be taken because we can see here we they he said y double dash is equal to g of some functional value must be considered so here what we do whatever the substitution we have taken dy by dx is equal to z what we have taken that will be treated as the first function this will be treated as a first function first function in the sense f of x y z means here the given function which was having x y y dash now we can see substituting y dash is equal to z so it becomes y dash becomes z again therefore this dy by dx which is nothing but z substitution which will be treated as considered as 
f of x y z first equation second equation d square y by dx square its notation is what dz by dx now so this dz by dx will be treated as g of x y z means we have two first order simultaneous equations which are nothing but dy by dx is equal to z which is nothing but f of x y z second is dz by dx is equal to g of x y z means don't consider the second order only we are considering first order dy by dx and dz by dx so i'll be calling it as equation number 2 with conditions then what about the conditions the initially the conditions which were given they were y of x not equal to y not that will remain same that will remain same y of x not equal to y not second condition is y dash of x not is equal to y not dash but y dash is nothing but z now therefore z of x not will be treated as z not so these are the new things which will be taken for consideration to go for its solution now we'll be discussing rk method for this second order differential equation rk method which is already discussed in our previous uh, classes for first order so now it will be discussed for second order how it works and uh, what are the uh, formalities to be followed okay so let us take it rk method for second order fine you can see range kutta method rk method for fourth order to compute y of x not plus h this we have already discussed in previous model so then if they want y dash of x not plus z but y dash will be treated as z now z of x not plus h for this we need to compute k1 k2 k3 k4 but k1 k2 k3 k4 computation was there for first order differential equations where the rk method is concerned but here we we are uh, having uh, more than first order we are having second order when we are having second order then we need to go for more than this k1 k2 k3 k4 so it is understood now first second order is been converted into two set of first order therefore dy by dx which is taken as f of x y z for that first function then dz by dx which is taken as g of x y z for that second set second set means here we will be taking l1 l2 l3 l4 therefore we can see k1 is equal to means we need to compute k1 k2 k3 k4 for first function l1 l2 l3 l4 for second function so k1 is equal to this is well known k1 is equal to h into f of x not y not z not initially in previous um, model we discussed k1 k2 k3 k4 but it was only related to x not y not here one additional term comes that is nothing but so k1 will be found by using the formula h into h is a step length here f of x not y not z not then k2 but while calculating k2 we can observe h into f of x not plus h by 2 which can be done y not plus k1 by 2 this was there in previous uh, method also previous uh, first order uh, equations solved by rk method also but this is additional term z not plus l1 by 2 means what it says first we need to find out k1 then we need to find out l1 rather than going for l2 k2 means don't take k1 k2 k3 k4 take k1 l1 k2 l2 k3 l3 k4 l4 that has to be calculated then l1 is equal to h into g of this bracket we can see it remains same x not y not z not then k2 is equal to h into f of x not plus h by 2 y not plus k1 by 2 plus z not plus l1 by 2 then l2 is equal to h into g of this bracket again remains same means the functional values the variable values will remain same for that function but only function changes here so this is f and this is g function okay then k3 is equal to h into f of x not plus h by 2 y not plus k2 which is already calculated that by 2 plus z not plus l2 which is already calculated 
that by 2. Similarly, L3 is equal to H into G of this bracket again remains same here. Then K4 is equal to H into F of X0 plus H, Y0 plus K3 which is calculated, Z0 plus L3 which is already calculated. Then L4 is equal to H into G of, this again remains same, this bracket remains same. Then we need to go for solutions. The solution of a required one, what is that solution says? We can see here, the solution is the required solution y of x0 plus h is equal to y0 plus 1 by 6 k1 plus 2 times k2 plus 2 times k3 plus k4. You can see here, once, twice, twice, once. So, 1 plus 2, 3 plus 2, 5 plus 1, 6. 6 divided by 6 means it is average of k. This is to calculate y of x0 plus h. Suppose if you want to calculate y dash of x0 plus h which is nothing but z of x0 plus h. For that we need to go for its continuation value means here k values are utilized to get the value of y then l values will be used to get the value of z. See here y dash of x0 plus h which is nothing but z of x0 plus h for that what it is instead of y0 z0 will come. Okay means it is nothing but a differentiation of this term differentiation of this term. But don't uh, literally differentiate. You can see y dash, y, y dash, y dash is nothing but z. So y not, y not dash, that is nothing but z not plus 1 by 6 instead of l, k, uh, k, l values come. l1 plus 2, l2 plus 2, l3 plus l4. Overall it is 6l divided by 6. So z not plus average of l will be z of x not plus h. This is the way to calculate 